Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to the Hunter Classic on Wall de Bois. So last episode, we started to get some red deer on the map. We did unfortunately wound one, and only got it hit in the intestines, and it's gone for a bit of a run- Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to be further out than that, so, uh, do not realize that. But yeah, we've got this red deer to collect here, and then maybe we'll see about the castle behind us, and also about the other red deer that- Actually, speaking of the other red deer, He's right in the area. Okay, uh, I feel like that should have been a lung, but again, it... It feels so twitchy using this gun. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you know what, since we took the shot, I might as well stand up and just go collect this guy. Then we'll go and see where that shot hit. I almost feel like it might have missed the lung closest to us, but got the second one with, like, where the placement was. Well, let's take a look at you. Yeah, you're not too bad of one. You're not quite as good as the other one we had taken. Yeah, you can... Yeah, I thought it was going to be back in that area. Okay, we're not going to take a trophy shot. And then we want to... No, oh, care. No, I want right in the mi... Yes, that. Okay. Yeah, see, that I... I'm thinking it's going to cause some problems for some people in game. Like, especially because you don't have the cursor that comes up to say, like, where is the... Like, I'm just trying to get the center, but... We'll have to see how that'll get received, I guess. But yeah, so let's go see about where this hit was. Best case scenario, it hit the lung. Worst case scenario is it counts as a body. And because it went running, I'm kind of leaning it more as going to count as a body shot. So let's take a look and see. Um, I think, yeah, this is too far ahead still. It was back around here where it, like, slid off the rock for a bit there. Oh, no, it did register as a lung. Perfect. I think, yeah, I guess it really did miss the one lung, but might have gone out through the other. Yeah, so you're probably going to be better score than the previous one was. And the red deer do actually score for decent amounts when you get a proper nice-sized animal. Yeah, body, right lung. So what ha- wait, right lung? But wasn't it fa- so- how did- I thought it went through- would have gone through, like, the left lung. Because the way it was positioned, I thought it was coming in like this. So the left lung would have been missed here, but then through- or through the left lung, but the right lung would have- Well, whatever, we'll take it. 39 extra GM for us. And then we can see about where we want to go. Uh, the mountain- or the castle, yeah, so that we can actually go a little ahead for. I don't know if I should go to the castle or not, though. Like, it is a nice little bit of sightseeing, but to be honest, I think you guys prefer the hunting aspects. Where I actually, like, do get animals on my time out. Oh, speaking of, who do we have up there? Uh, another red deer, but I don't know if that's the one that called. Yes. Okay, so there's a female there. There's one guy freaking out. Oh, girl freaking out over there. Oh, well, actually, he's not too bad looking now. I'm getting a little bit better angle. I just... I, uh, do I try for long shots? I mean, that is kind of the spirit of Wall de Bois, is that you're going to be doing a lot of long distance shots. So, let's try to see where he is. Ah, you know what? I think I want him to cross a little bit further still. Because, like, I could try getting the lung there. I feel like that still might be a bit tricky. If he does keep going, then he's going to have a lot of area that any pause will give me a great opportunity on him. Yeah, see, there you go. That's working much better for me. 
And it's nice when the animals will actually co cooperate with you. Oh, and what's... That's a different animal. That's, I don't think that's a red deer. I, is that maybe a... That might be a roe deer, actually. I think I can kind of see, like, the little spikes for the antlers. Oh, yeah, it is a little roe deer. Oh, shit. Well, you're kind of coming right for me. That reminds me of the old South Park episode of hunting. It's coming right for us! And I don't know where that would have been registered as a hit. It seems like it might just be a body, because he's getting quite a bit of distance on him. Yeah, I'm guessing that was just a body. That's one of the reasons I don't like actually going for, like, say, the uh, front-on shots. Oh, no, he's going down. So, does that make you... Are you a male or female roe deer? Because I am very surprised... Okay, you know, let me get the actual decent... I gotta pick up another rifle scope, my god. I'm surprised that that roe deer didn't go, like, bolting off. I think one did, but... Ah, I can only see its butt end. I can't... Okay, now that looks like a doe. I don't really see any, like, antlers to it. Well, I mean, I guess they do qualify as antlers. It's just that they're so small compared to everything that's... Like, I'm used to North America, antler-wise. Jeez, it's far enough out that I can't even register it, like, being spotted. Kind of goes to show you the distances we're dealing with on Val de Bois. That's Val de Bois. I'm trying to remember. I know day is, like, the plural, but I can't remember if it's such a hard pronunciation like that. Or it's a softer duh. No, I think duh, like D-U-H, is more like in, so I think D-E-S is day. Voile de bois. I think that's it. And there was a call from something over there. There are all kinds of the roe deer squeaking and squawking now. I heard it, but I don't really actually, like, see it over there. Unless maybe it's more back into the woods a bit. Oh, yeah, the poor guy's bleeding out there. Okay, we got her coming in. Um, I'm kind of hoping he'll just, like, pass in a moment. Oh, and we got, oh, another one up there. There's the road here. I was trying to figure out where it went. Okay, that's just a doe. A road doe. I feel like I want to take the shot, just put the poor guy down for good. The problem is, I don't even know if I'd be accurate enough to get the second... Yeah, I don't know if I'd be accurate enough to be able to get the second shot on him. I feel bad about a lot of these shots. She's like trying to come in to see what's going on with them too. Yeah, hunting can be a harsh thing sometimes, not just because of... Oh, there we go. Okay, so he did finally pass. It can be hard, not just because of, like, the skill or that you need, but just, like, what can happen by not being good enough, really. It's a lot different in a hunting game than, say, something like Skyrim or that, where the animals don't really show any signs of being too injured or weak or stuff like that. Here... You're gonna know. Oh, that's actually quite the call from one. 
Oh, he's actually up on the road towards the castle, so maybe we will go up there. Boogity, boogity, boogity. <laughs> Off you go. Yeah, there. I figure if I can, even if I can scare them away, that's going to help me in the long run. I just want to check. Is there? Oh, that's a trail of something, but. Yeah, so, you know, I will crouch down, just, like, get her out of here so I don't have to worry about another red deer possibly stumbling on me. And it's possible the one that we heard call will make its way down towards the water. But just in case it doesn't, I do want to remain, like, a bit careful and cautious. I do want to remember for next week to change up what I have, like, equipped-wise, because I could have definitely brought the red deer caller... Uh, the road here caller. And that would have given me a different set of options, or, like, been able to call things a little bit more easily in. I can't really see up there, like, where it exactly is, so I don't know if it would be following the path, or... It doesn't seem like it, at least not from here. Okay, well, let's go get this guy in. I don't know if it's a body shot or another intestine, because if it was body, I don't think he would have gone down to bed. Oh, I saw him moving up there, too. I was just behind that. It's the row. I think that's the male that we saw before. Like, I know you guys, probably because of, again, I'm stuck on the, uh... I think it's like ABC1 codec or whatever. A lot of the details and that can not really carry over that you can see on video like I do here. But that's something I really can't do anything about until... Unless the videos get like a really high amount of view in a short amount of time or... I think if you're 10,000 subs your videos all start getting the VP9 treatment. Yeah, it's just body. I am surprised that did put it down though, so we'll sell that guy. Because with a body shot, normally the animals are able to just keep going and going and going. They might have a limp, but they don't really bed down. Okay, and I... Do I have the red deer collar? No, I put everything away because I'm an idiot. But I'll see about going up here for a bit, just... Oh, man, that's a different one. Okay, you know what? Oh, or is that just that red deer? Yeah, it's just the female red deer again. You know what, since this one's calling from an area that I'll have much better visibility on, I think I'm going to focus on that instead. Like, it's true that the other red deer could just be, like, right up there somewhere, but I do not really know how... Yeah, it looks like it'd be a bit hard trying to get a good spot on. Here, I can just use the waterway and easily get into a nice position to see what we're dealing with for this one. And scare that one away. The nice thing, too, is that if there's a certain distance... Oh, no, actually, that one's going to get a little frightened off, too. I'm hoping we're far enough away that... Yeah, it shouldn't affect the male that we just heard call. I don't know if the roe deer ran off too or not, or that was just the red deer I spotted way up there going. Well, let's continue slowly along and then we'll see what's there. It definitely seems like if you're looking for... Oh, hello, what's that running? That is the female! Definitely going for quite a ways. I was not expecting her to go quite that... Oh, maybe that was the one from the island and that was the other one that we... Like, they do run a distance, but I'm surprised they're still, like, in view range. I guess that's one of the things about some of the other maps, is with how dense vegetation is and how, like, geography can be. You don't really think that they stay that close, but... It's just because, like, there's a hill or a mound or something in the way. So I was really expecting that I would have seen the, uh... The red deer that called around here, or the stag. Unless maybe it actually, like, went... 
across the island. So there's a possibility it did that. Well, hang on, who are you? Okay, female there. Yes, I got the females over there. Uh, the male... Yeah, I don't know what the male did. It's not a very big island, so it's not like it's really that easy to hide. But depending on if it was like in just like a standard walk or a trot, it could cover from a fair bit of distance. And what are you? Oh, well, you are the track for the red stag. Okay, so it looks like he must go to the other side of the island. So yeah, we got more tracks here. And says, oh, it says these are fairly old. Okay, actually, maybe he's not as far as I think. I was like, that track, it does say relatively new for narrowing down. So maybe it's just that he's been staying just out of my line of sight for a while. Yeah, crossing over the island. Oh, no. No, I actually didn't. So we might see him if he is going to continue like along the outline of it here. I think the... You know, actually, let me get my binoculars again, because there is something way up there. Oh, just one of the females. Oh, and actually, just as... I think that's the row... Doe or male? Oh, I, even I can't tell from that far away. Oh, he turned to fleeing. Okay. And it's possible that he, he this guy didn't go as far as the feet or... Went as far as female, so I might still see him as I'm getting over the edge here. But I feel like the male animals are a little bit smarter and do run off more. Or at least have more distance they cover when they get frightened. Well, that's just a female. Thought it might have been a male for a second, but... Okay, yeah, I don't know where he did run to. I don't know if he ran across... Oh, hello. I see something. Oh, a lot of females around here. Well, that's pretty typical of uh, the Hunter Classic, really, is you'll come across probably like five female animals for one male. Actually, there's something way up there, too. Hello! Screw wherever we've been going. That's a jackpot right there. Look at that beauty. Okay, now, do I try for a very long distance shot? Oh. It's like that is a gorgeous red deer. And, oh, he's basically got bodyguards. I got him. I got him. Oh, that was a long shot, but uh, worth it. So we're going to work our way to him and take a look. That's probably going to be our best scoring red deer of this outing. Like, when you have a big scoring red deer, you know it, and you see it. It's not quite like, say, roe deer or bears, where it can be hard to get an idea of the scale and scoring. Certain animals, you see them, you just know. 
even if you're a complete idiot like I am. So we'll quickly go over and snag him and see how he does for score. But yeah, Wall de Bois is a great place to really get your long distance uh, like practice in. I do admit I wish I could have gotten a few more like animal variety, but I, it's kind of also hard to argue with the quantity we've been getting too. Most of the series I've been lucky to get two, three animals per episode. Actually, hang on. I think that's been about what I've gotten for... Has been this one so far? Uh, we found that one. One, two... This'll be the third one. Okay, so... I guess I am actually par on course, really. It might just be, though, that I've gotten this animal with some time still to go. But, yeah, just looking from afar, this guy... Ooh... I mean, I could probably run up to him, but there is also the thing, too, where since I have so much line of sight... Oh, speaking of, there's little... Um, I... I mean, I could always swap this over for that and try using the 243. Well, was there... How about I just heard something here? Ah, uh, no, I, I was losing my uh, breath. The wobble started coming in, so... I think I will still try getting that red fox, as long as... Oh, actually, I can call... I forgot I have the collar! No, I actually have a roe deer collar. Huh. It was the red deer I forgot I had. Now, I don't know if that's going to be too far for it to, like, get interested or not. It might well be, because that looks pretty far out there. But yeah, with this distance, I can walk up, and let's take a look at this guy. God, he looks beautiful. I think this this might actually be one I'll taxidermize. It's like, let me get up close and get a good look at that ant configuration. Like, yeah, look at you. Look at you. So that was a 212. Oh, just the, the spread is one thing, but then also all the points as well. Uh, I think we'll do Reverend for this one. Because, yeah, he's definitely a very nice one in my opinion. And let me see about just going up a little bit. Zoom in, I think, about there. So accept that. Only worth 64, but that does put him... Ah, you know what? For, like, spending 2,000, I think I am just going to take the GM, like... He is a... He was a very nice scoring animal, but I just... Almost 2,000 to spend on him. Oh, right. Ah, uh, that one. So let's see if we can get this little fox. I don't know if it's a male or female. I haven't actually been able to spot it yet. Or, well, register spotting it. Because, again, we're pretty easily spotting it right now. And foxes are usually pretty skittish, so I don't want to... be walking through the water too much. I actually can't even crouch through that spot. Uh, I don't know if that was actually a hit on it or not. Yeah, I... Like, I can get you want to have a progression system to feel like you are leveling and improving. 
But sometimes you gotta weigh like how long does that truly take to get done. Well, we'll try to catch up and see what registers from this. It could have been possible that I actually shot underneath it through its legs from the distance there. Well, I think I see a flash of color up there too. I guess almost like a light. Oh, it is a light, because it's a freaking campfire! We're actually almost at the other lodge. So, yeah, we've... I guess it is because Bois de Bois isn't that large of a map, all things considered. Like, it looks like it has a fair bit of, like, uh, distance to it, but really, when you're actually down and in the map itself, ground gets covered pretty quickly. So I know the fox ran across to this edge of the river, or this side. But I just want to check and see if it's going to be worth it to try following it, or just accept that I missed again and carry on. So it's just up here. There is a track of something here. Is it blood or footprints is the big question. It's blood, but it's not a lot. I think that's a body shot. Yeah, that was just a body shot. It might still put it down. I mean, we did have the luck with the red deer. But it's hard to say with the little thing. Didn't want to... I could have sworn there was a track there. Yeah, there is, but I didn't want to pick it up. Okay, well, we'll follow these for a bit and try to glass ahead, too. Okay, there we go. Oh, actually, I think I s Yeah, that's our fox there. And it's basically like posing for us. Oh, come on, I've got my breath held. There we go. Yeah, I do wish you could spend some time at a firing range and get that up, so that way it feels like it's a little bit more... Under your control going out for actually properly hunting the animals. We'll go collect that and probably end this episode here. So I, it wasn't like the most diverse like start for a reserve tour, but we still got a fair amount of animals actually taken in for it. It only goes to show that a lot easier to rifle hunt than it is to drive the bow. So I'll definitely be sticking to the rifle and... Next episode, we're going to be starting from this lodge here we just arrived to, and try going up into some of the mountains. I don't know if I'll go as, like, high as possible. I don't know. I'm hoping the trail maybe will take us to a climbing spot. But yeah, I'll have to see how things go. But it's kind of nice to actually say we went from one reserve to the other to start for next week. I think it's been pretty rare in the series if we've actually been able to manage that. Then also, we haven't always been going from, like, trying to go in the direction of a lodge. Well, Dubois, just because of the map layout, it kind of happens following the river. So, let's collect you. I do apologize there for the poor shot. Yeah, the first one was a poor one. Left hunt? Ooh, that was pretty far back then. Second one wasn't bad, but... Yeah. Oh, actually, and there's another mission complete. Yeah, so I got a few... Uh, some GM in from those couple missions I've probably done, and again, we got a few rather nice animals. So we can basically walk right up to the lodge and end this episode here. Thank you guys for much joining me on this episode of the Hunter Classic. If you... Oh, a little music playing saying we're back here. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give us a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks... Be sure to leave the comments right down below. Next week we... No. Oh. Okay, well, next week we will be fo probably following the trail and 
We went up into the really steep mountain territory on Val de Bois and see if we can get something a little bit more different and unique than this episode. I had a good time, got some nice animals, and I think that made for a very nice start to this reserve. So until I do catch you in the next video episode, survivors and hunters, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting. Thank you.